Welcome to Thag Tech Gaming. We're taking a look at uh, Thea the Awakening. Uh, this is uh, not a. I'm on turn 255, so I'm well into a playthrough for um, uh, Marina. Um, I wanted to try to unlock another god um, that uh, you have to get to level 3 in order to do the unlock. So I thought, hey, let's try something different. So I need, want to get her to level 3 so that I can unlock another one. I incidentally did not realize that you could click this and get to your various settings uh, to be able to see how you're doing, which I think is really funny. I'm in the, I, I just started a normal um, a normal campaign, which it's funny because you only get 85% for starting on normal, but um, achievement wise, and I've never done this this version, I've done the Giants Quest one, and I've done the, um, the Quest one, but I've never done an advancement, so I want to try to do this. Um, the downside is that these take a while, 70%. Um, these are easy. Um, but the other thing I decided to try to do, and the reason I'm making this video, is because I went, I went uh, entirely, um, from, a, from a tech standpoint, um, I went entirely uh, into uh, pole arms. You'll notice I have no swords, I have no medium armor, no shields, no axes. I went pole arms and ranged weapons. Um, I haven't unlocked any of this stuff here, the no jewelry, no um, additional cooking. And from a gathering standpoint, I went ahead and went down the road of getting ancient wood and then also all the way up to moonstone um, to make some awesome stuff. Uh, I haven't gotten, I haven't gone to mithril yet because I haven't needed to because I've been able to get enough events. And on construction, I haven't, I haven't really focused on this. What I did was I went straight to a cabbage patch, um, our cabbage field, and I haven't done the, the watchtower. Um, haven't done any of this stuff. Um, I, I got one well just for random stuff because you get random stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, but this is all I did to, to start with. I, I went heavy into this just to get more people. I had a, a number of deaths early on that were just stupid because I didn't realize that you know poison would just straight up kill you, and I kept forgetting to send my guys out to get unpoisoned, and that was that was a bad time. So anyway, uh, incidentally, my group now. Uh, equipment wise has pretty significantly different um, uh, set of obviously uh, equipment than I normally do uh, this is some pretty crazy stuff this 14 damage um, with 8 poison means that you're actually doing 30 points of damage with this now this is made of ancient wood and mithril so this is a, this is basically as high end as you can get um, from what I've been able to, to, to figure out uh, in terms of um, uh, spears I want to say that there was another flavor. Yeah, Ancient Wood and Obsidian is 14 and 8, so that's the same, but it gives you stealth as opposed to this one, which gives you the perception. Um, I want to say there was one other one. This one is just straight 18. Um, I think there was another. Here's a different flavor. This is 22 damage, but again, because it doesn't have the poison, um, it does more. Uh, that's the thing. The, the poison damage just does extra damage if you're already wounded. Um, so that's that's a difference there. Um, I thought I made I thought I made another set. Some of these guys still don't have the upgraded stuff yet. Um, see that's silver and moonstone. That gets you 22 damage um, for that. Uh, this is ancient wood and enchanted bone. You'll notice it's 13 and 8 as opposed to 14 and 8 for the ancient wood and mithril. So it's funny because ancient wood and enchanted bone. The enchanted bone is almost as good as mithril, and it looks to me like um, oops. Uh, you you do need a little bit more enchanted bone than you do need mithril, but again, I haven't really needed that. Um, anyway, so it, it's a totally different way to play, though. Um, so you definitely have to have to pay attention. Um, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and fight these, just so you can kind of see how it works. But because basically everybody, and that that's the thing, I literally scrapped. Um, I scrapped all of the items. Uh, from the standpoint of if, it, if I got a shield, I scrapped it. If I got a, a sword or an axe, I scrapped it. So the only things I kept, um, and it literally if I got a new character and I had an extra spear, I immediately got rid of all their, their um, equipment just to force myself <laughs> to do everything with, uh, with uh, the, the piercing damage. Now you'll note that the shade, because I can't control their weaponry, um, they, they, don't, they do not have the, uh, this, the piercing damage, so that kind of sucks. But in this case, like for example, I'm going to end up with the shade in my uh, tactical hand, which allows me the first action. 
so I'm going to go ahead and just keep them. But what you'll see, I mean, obviously I outnumber them, so it's not a big deal, but the, the, the trick with this, again, is that you do half of your damage when you're able to come in. Uh, you do half of your damage to the thing you're, you're attacking. So like in this case, I can send this, I can send one of these up here, and it'll do half the damage. So this 38 is going to do 15, uh, 19 damage. So it's basically dead already, which is crazy. And so I, I can get these people out early so that they're just constantly killing everything that comes out. Now the, the problem is obviously when there's two of them that come out, so I'm going to get my two high damage guys out. So now there's two of them that come out, so I'm not going to be able to get ahead of this because as soon as I do a one of these, um, again, high damage, so she comes out. Well, now if I do one of these, then they're just going to sit to the right of her, so that's not what I want to do. So that part of it kind of sucks in that sense. Um, so that's where you start playing these other cards. Um, so in this case, if I wanted to do a first action, I could move her all the way to the front because that's what I'm going to do with this character because that's about all, the only thing that that card is going to be worthwhile for. Now some of these I can do start doing counter tactics. Um, obviously, uh, counter tactics pretty good. Support ally is not bad. Um, but if I counter tactic, I can get rid of some of these other cards, which is beneficial. So now I should be able to get rid of the other two counter tactics. And so now all I need to do is bring in one of these, and then I can even do a first action on this, and then I can turn around and do another one of these. <laughs> So now there's literally nothing else that these other people can do. So now if I just do, like, say, support ally, and again, this is because I've gone with the ranged, I've just got these guys doing just crazy amounts of damage, and obviously I'm going to take out all the rest of the cards. Now obviously this was not a hard fight, so it's not a big deal. Um, this is one where they, I had a bunch of rats, like, stole a bunch of children, but I think that they, um, <clears throat> um, they stole three of my kids, and I only got one back, so that kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, so from the range standpoint, let's look at those real quick. Um, equipment. Oh, yeah. I got one of these. And again, I just dismantle everything. Everything that's not a, not a ranged weapon, I'm just getting rid of. Okay, so ranged-wise, this is 10 damage, and I, I made all these. Uh, 10 range damage. Uh, he can't because he's too weak. 11 range damage. 10 range of damage, 11 range of damage. So, I mean, everybody's doing just crazy amounts of damage. Now, obviously, I've got some people with the 7s. Those are the ones that I didn't create. This one I made, the Whispering Crossbow, at 12. Um, here's another 10. Here's a 13. Yeah, and I made that one. Um, 10, 11, 9. So, everybody basically is just doing crazy amounts of range damage as well. So, that's really nice. Uh, a nice way to... to uh, to use your support when you can't, um, when you have two, uh, two monsters that come in and you can only get in front of the last one that came in, um, and you're not going to be able to get to this one. It's not if you have two plays. Sometimes, in, especially if you can kill this one outright with the number of cards you have, some it's a good idea to do your run your support so that the guy so that your guy that's right before the two enemies has extra attack. Obviously, because then having all your attack front loaded is is helpful. So that's kind of where this is at, um, this playthrough, um, and I'm, I am going to keep playing it, but because I haven't been playing it, you know, consistently, um, I just wanted to leave this here with with some examples of, of some of the things you can do. Uh, one other thing I will talk about a little bit is the um, the village overview. So I have a ca I have cabbage fields, and I di these are the ones that I set up early because uh, I got quartz and grain early, so I got a four three. Um, here's my well that I just it's wooden string, it's just garbage. But I, I wanted it for random resource. Obviously, you want to do that kind of early. I'm going to probably replace that next. Um, and then I've got a, some clay vegetables, which are 4-2. So it's a little bit better. But then I get into dryad wood, which is 4-2. A dryad wooden vegetable. You'll notice that the clay and the dryad wood are about the same. But I got, for some reason, I had a ton of dryad wood. So I decided to use that. I went ahead and did quartz and straw to get my smithy going. Just mo Mostly I did the smithy just so I could get um, the potential uh, good quality stuff. Um, not for any other reason. Herbalist Hut, I made it out of dark wood, so I do get it the Attract Goblin. Um, I've, I still haven't gotten a goblin, but oh well. And then I did Granite and Grain. That's a 5-3, so significantly better. I made two of those. And then more recently, I made an Obsidian and Grain, which has 4-2-3. So this is awesome. So this Cabbage Field of Obsidian is, is really awesome. 
Um, you'll notice I don't have a pasture anymore, um, and that's because I've got so much food. If I go look at manage supplies here, um, I have like just stupid amounts of, of food. Um, I send my guys out and, and um, gather things, and I can I'm, I, I have more more food than I know what to do with. So um, I really don't need to need to do that, but. Um, it seems like there was something else I was gonna try to do, um, and I haven't. I haven't actually been able to. Um, if I do it, yeah. So I have to destroy some stuff to get anything else added. I'm thinking about trying another smithy, and I, I'm sure that there's stuff online that tells you all the combinations. I might have to go look at that, but I uh, I saw something about obsidian, um, and I was thinking, hey, maybe if I can build out of obsidian, because it was one of the things that that lit up whenever I. I had cabbage field and it, I moused over it and it was like, wait a second, I can build this out of obsidian and I did it and yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm kind of hoping that I can get a goblin because I'd be interested to see what they look, what they, you know, how they fight and stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, that's another kind of a cool thing. I, I do have in my production queue, um, I'm just making food right now, but uh, I should be able to um, here fairly shortly. You can see with pikes and whatnot. I've got, I do have a crap ton of moons, and I just went and, and got a bunch of that. So again, if you make, um, well, let's see what dragon bones do. I haven't tried this one yet. This will be a kind of a fun deal. Oh yeah, I made it through most all my string. We can look at that. 17 and five, so that's 27 damage. So it's not quite as much damage, but that leech is really nice because it heals you. Um, the leech, the dragon bones give you the leech. Um, and you'll see that 22 damage. That, that, yeah, it's great in terms of high damage, but it doesn't it doesn't double or anything. So 17 and 5 is 27. Obviously, 27 is more than 22, and this actually does that damage every single time. So this the dragon bones here are, are easily the best uh, option for that. Um, and I don't unfortunately I don't have enough ancient wood to see what ancient wood would do with this. And you'll notice here's here's an example. So. Again, um, if I do Enchanted, I get 17. If I do Dragon, I get 17 and 5, so obviously this is way better. And then if I put in um, straight a Mithril, I get 18. Um, I get 17 with Silver. So it, obviously you want to you know try your different combinations and, and see what you get. But, uh, but really, it's definitely one of those things where Mithril is really nice, but Ancient Wood Mithril is you know better. Um, there's another 17 if you put granite in there, um, but uh, but obviously something like this where you get that 27, including a leech, which is a heal, that's absolutely amazing. So definitely something to, to keep in mind. Uh, I, I'm really liking the staff option. It makes playing through the game so much faster because you're not worrying about shields and swords and whatever. Um, and generally speaking, it's fairly safe. Um, you you do have to. You do have to be a little bit more cognizant of the order that you put stuff down in, but um, but yeah, definitely a, f a fun playthrough and uh, worth taking a look at. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.